Assassin's Creed has been a staple of the gaming industry since its debut in 2007, and with yearly release games set in different time periods, comes with a vast range of characters, some integral to the overarching story of the franchise, and a majority that wind up unfortunately falling to the wayside. I mean, even main installment characters at this point like the Fry Twins, Arno and Shay are all of little importance to the overarching story of the franchise, but one major character that's never really fully gone either way is that of Xiao Jun. First appearing in the short film Assassin's Creed Embers and the novelization of Revelations, Xiao was one of the first extended media characters to be heavily tied into the main story of the franchise, directly tying into Ezio's story and being the origin point for the precursor box storyline. From there, the story of the box itself is inconsistent. It appears again in Black Flag's Freedom Cry DLC, is one of two MacGuffins in its next appearance in Rogue, and is then the focal point for the Chronicles trilogy before seemingly being relegated to the comics. Now everything that I just explained was kicked off nearly a decade ago. With the introduction of Xiao Jun and the release of Embers, the box Xiao was used to introduce has made its rounds and its mark on the lore of the franchise, but the character who would seemingly was tied to, Xiao Jun, hasn't been so lucky at all. After Embers, Xiao's story was directly followed up with the first game in the Chronicles trilogy. Chronicles China told the story of Xiao Jun after going to Ezio for help, returning to a homeland to rid it of the Chinese Templars, the Ming Dynasty, and the Eight Tigers, a group who was puppeteering the dynasty and the Chinese Templars. Her next focused piece of media wouldn't come until February of 2020, only releasing in Japan at the time, The Blade of Xiao Jun, known as Assassin's Creed China, in Japan, a manga series that serves as an adaptation of the Chronicles China story. This would remain a Japan exclusive story until February of 2021, when the manga, now renamed Blade of Xiao Jun, began to be released in English. Now that was it for Xiao Jun, at least until very recently. You see, today or yesterday, I don't know when this video is going up, when I can edit it, stuff like that. Sidebar, not important. It's been announced by Ubisoft that Xiao Jun is going to start in her own novel trilogy, starting with the translated version of the previously released Chinese exclusive, The Ming Storm. Now that novel was originally released in 2019, again as a China exclusive product, before getting a French translation in October of 2020, and will be getting its English release as a kickoff for this trilogy on June the 1st. Now this should be cool, it should be more than cool actually. A classic AC character that is widely loved by fans is getting more of a focus. That's great, except it's not because it's Ubisoft, so obviously it's not that black and white and it's not that good at all, actually. The first issue I have with it, and I have two main issues that I'm going to go over very briefly. The first issue is that this new book trilogy that the Ming Storm to English release is going to kick off isn't canon. None of whatever is going to take place across these books, across the Xiao Jin trilogy, is going to be of any significance to the overarching storyline of the franchise. That's... that's it. That's, it's not important. Secondly, take a look at the book's cover art. Now take a look at the Chronicles China cover art. It's the same. The Ming Storm is just another retelling of the Chronicles China story. Not only is this trilogy going to be non-canon, but at minimum the first book, maybe the entire trilogy, is looking like it's going to be another retelling of her story in her Chronicles game. How is it that a box in the past decade has had more development than the character who was introduced in the finale to the franchise's mascot character? This isn't even going into the implications of Ubisoft sidelining another female character still so seeming... This isn't even going into the implications of Ubisoft sidelining another female character still so recently after seemingly half their company was outed as either sex offenders, sexist, or a weird concoction of both. It's just frustrating at this point. Ubisoft seems so determined to shove any pre-existing likeable characters off to the wayside, twice as much if the character's female. A character like Xiao Jun, with a pre-existing connection to the fanbase, and major characters like Ezio being relegated to a non-canon novel trilogy, is just a waste of her potential.